um, and after this we'll get, get to the voting. Uh, so I'd like to introduce Ron Kulkarni, who is a senior uh, computer scientist on the Fold Fusion Group. Uh, so what he's, um, he has an uncanny habit, which is actually wherever he goes, he's mistaken for someone else. So if you think you've met him, you haven't. So um, <laughs> now to get to the demo, he is going to show us server-side action scripts. Same action Woo! script you know and love, but running on the server. Take it down. Yeah. Hi. Uh, so uh, till now, ActionScript has been associated with the client-side technology, but I have a couple of demos here which run ActionScript on the server, and it can have all the uh, access to the great uh, feature that are available in the Cold Fusion. So I'll start with a very simple demo, which is Hello World or rather Hello Max. So in this uh, script, I have a, a function called Say Hello, which takes a string and it returns Hello plus the argument passed to it. Now when this is called from the browser, the script is going to be executed on the server and HTML output is going to be generated and sent back to the browser. So let's say this demo first. So this is the output, HTML output. My next demo also generates HTML output but does little more than the Hello Max demo. So it actually executes a query on the server. So in the, in the script block, I have a function get RTS and here I'm creating a database connection with uh, pre-configured data source. And I execute, execute a query, select star from artist table, and return array of objects. And I call this uh, function and assign it to a variable called rs. And down here, I have a, a HTML table here. And down here, I, I have another script block. Uh, where I iterate over the uh, ar over the uh, array that that, 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 uh, that, uh, that was written by get artist, and I format that into HTML table. So I will run the script. And you see the data generated by the server in the HTML table. Now, now in the next demo, I'm going to show you how you can call server-side action script from Flex Client. So this is the Flex uh, client code. First, I declare a remote object with ID art manager. And I have a destination created on the server called server-side AS with this endpoint, which is, which is on the local machine. And I want to execute the script on the server, which is in this file, art manager.sas. By the way, SAS stands for server-side action script. And then I create a button, and I have a handler, on-click handler for that, this button, which calls get artist function on the remote object I created here. Then I have a data grid here, which is bound to the result returned by get artist, which is execu executed on the server. So let's look at the server code. The server code should be in art manager.sas, which is here, and it has get artist functions function. Uh, which again creates a database connection and execute, execute the query. So let me run this demo. And when I click on get artist, it makes a call to the server and action script is executed and the result is written and displayed in the grid. <laughs> now, in this demo, you saw that uh, the client side action script and server side action script, they were in two separate files. But in my last demo, I'm going to show you that you can have both the script, server side as well as uh, client side, action script in the same file. Now, I'll first run the demo. And while it is loading, let's take a look at what server is executing. So in here, I, I'm creating a button. And there are, you, you observe there are two script blocks here. One is set to run on the client, and another one is set to run on the server. So the on-click handler of the button is calling the function which is in the client script block. And then it calls get artist function which is in the server script block. And here again I'm creating connection executing query. And I have a data grid here which is bound to the result returned by get artist function. Now notice here there is no remote object declaration. And also the client side code is calling the server side code as if it is a local function. So let me execute this. Oh, it, I, I had actually already executed this. It takes a while to load this because 
this Swift is generated at runtime. time. So when I click on get artists, it makes a call to the server, the same file, and it gets the results back. And what is happening on the server is, server processes this file and it identifies the script that is supposed to be so that, that is set to run on the client and then it adds plumbing code to connect to the server and make calls to the functions on the server so that is what happened here let me just quickly change the query here say i want first name only or last name oh. And save this. And the result is updated. Thank you. Please head out to the buses. We will see you at the fabulous party. See you at the party. Bye-bye.